High school football, you never looked so good. That's right, it's August 23rd, and we're talking about high school football, the state of New Mexico kicking off their season, and we have a full slate of games to cover tonight. Let's begin with Mayfield hosting Atrisco Heritage tonight at the Field of Dreams. This one delayed for almost an hour because of lightning pregame. They would eventually take the field and try to play a football game. Mayfield defense all over the Jaguar second. Julio Borreal on Atrisco's first drive. Then on the ensuing punt, Jasura Garule steps out of the end zone for a safety. Trojans get the lead, but it was short-lived because just five minutes into this one, it was stopped again for lightning and then eventually canceled. It will not be made up, so Mayfield, they will host El Valle next Friday. Centennial is the defending District 36A champs taking on Rio Rancho tonight on the road, and there was some rust to begin this game. Adrian Trujillo. Can't handle the snap, and Gerard Bar Barlow is on it for the score, not the start that the Hawks were hoping for, down 47-19 to in the second half. They would turn it on, though. Gabriel Acosta with the touchdown run. This was a wild one. Centennial rallies from 28 points down in the second half to win 54-53 in overtime. What a start to the season for the Hawks. Las Cruces taking on Manzano up in Albuquerque tonight. Las Cruces got off to a fast start, and it was thanks to Johnny Terrazas, and his buddies up front. Check him out. 32-yard touchdown run for the senior right there. And then still in the first, it's Marco Lopez. He's going to go up top to Jonathan McCrae for the score. Bulldogs all over the Monarchs tonight. 55-27 the final there. Onyate matched up against the state runner-up from last season, the Cleveland Storm. And they have a guy by the name of Dorian Lewis. If you remember him, he's the former running back over at Andrus High School and tore it up his sophomore year. He ran wild tonight, a touchdown reception in the first half. He also had a touchdown run. This game was over at the half. The Storm blanked the Knights 50 to nothing. Lewis and Cleveland, they're at Franklin next week. So a bit of a homecoming there. In Class 4A, Santa Teresa hosting Cobra tonight. They got through the first half of the first quarter, and then lightning was the theme once again. Each strike within a 10-mile radius resulted in a 30-minute delay, and we saw a lot of them, which meant no highlights. This game was scoreless still in the first quarter when it was delayed. Now, some other finals for you. Lovington shuts out Chaparral 53 to nothing to open the season. Meanwhile, out west, Deming tops Gadsden 26 to 19.